Hello there, this is Kush Sharma from Creative Pad Media. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how the all new and amazing ChatGPT AI image editor and generator simply blows away any competition when it comes to a very popular thing in AI editing, which is clothes swapping. It's gonna be a short tutorial because to be frank, it has made it so easy that there's nothing really to explain here. We'll also be seeing how its competitors, Gemini AI and Grok AI, fair at this particular task. The links to all the tools as well as the images that we will be using have been given in the description. Before I get started, should point out in order to access this new AI editor and, gen and generator, you do need to have the ChatGPT Plus account. Now let's get started. The whole process started when for the first dress, I actually created the dress itself in ChatGPT. So I just wrote a single or simple prompt rather, which was create an image of a female dress with intricate patterns because I wanted something which had complex patterns because ultimately when the, when we put this over our subject, we want to see whether it maintains those patterns or not. So the image that I used which had the subject was this one. It's a full body portrait so this will work perfectly well with this. So let's see how ChatGPT fared at this and then we're going to see how Gemini and Grok fared at this. So just to save time, I've already done all this, so I'm just directly showing you the results because there's nothing too great about the process itself. If you've never used this before, you basically use this plus sign, just like you use your normal chat GPT when you attach something, and you attach both the images together. And then I just used a simple prompt like, replace the dress in the first image with the dress in the second image. So nothing too fancy about it, but just see the result here. This is something absolutely astonishing. It maintained all those intricate and complex patterns, also maintained the face of the subject well, the shoes, the pose of the hands, everything was perfect here. So we can't really complain about this at all. We've just not seen this kind of quality when it comes to clothes swapping, even with the other paid AI tools out there. But right now, let's use the same workflow and the same prompt over at Gemini AI. So I did the same thing, I uploaded this image, this image, and then I just typed in replace the dress. The first image with the dress in the second image, this is the result that we got. So first of all, the head was missing. Uh, the pattern looked very, very different from the original dress. You can see uh, it had six, seven fingers. The shoes were different, you know, and all these things. And overall, this was a very poor result. Now, just last week, I had released a video on clothes swapping using Gemini AI. So it's not like it cannot do it, but it's very unreliable. You really need to tweak the prompt, try things again, and then sometimes it can give you a decent result, but you can see here the quality is just not good enough. Let's go over to Grok AI and let's see what it did. Exactly the same thing, same prompt. I was surprised that it actually did not do this at all. It told me that it cannot edit an existing image and then replace the dress like that, which was slightly uh, surprising. It gave me a long explanation as to why it can't do this. But at the end, it told me that it can try to understand what this dress is about and then through its own interpretation, do the clothes swap. Basically, that's what it said in this last para. So I said, I'm fine with that, let's do that. But you can see then, its interpretation was really, really off the mark and this just looked like a terrible result. So there was no doubt ChatGPT was the winner here by a mile, but since this image or rather this dress was itself generated by ChatGPT, I also wanted to try this with a real dress which exists in the real world. So then what I did was I basically went over to the next edit, uh, which was uh, where I used this particular image, which I had found on the internet of this uh, subject wearing this red suit and the white tee. And I wanted to see if it can do the same thing again. You can see, uploaded both the images, same prompt. It did a fantastic job, uh, job up till here. In the original image, we didn't have the legs. So it struggled to put these pants on the legs because you can see that it changed the length of the legs because right now this was not proportional. So this wasn't a perfect result even though the swap of the clothes itself was perfect. But again with chat GPT this is not such a big problem because all I did was I just wrote this is good but the legs look a, look a bit shorter as compared to the body so just make them a bit longer. Now this is where what happened was it actually thought or it got confused and it thought that I'm actually talking about this image where there were no legs at all. So it extended the legs in that particular image. This can happen sometimes and the way out of this is what I realized actually it was my mistake because what I should have done is instead of just writing it here, what we can do is if you just open up and click on this image, there's a new interface which comes up and here also you get this prompt window. If you write it here, 
For sure, we're writing for this image. So there's no room for confusion. So that's what I did. I did exactly the same thing. Then I typed a very similar prompt, which was make the legs just a bit longer. This time, because it was referring to that image itself, you can see that this time we got this particular thing corrected also. So this was amazing. Now the body looked absolutely perfect, the right proportions. I also wanted to just see what if we change the angle of the subject, does it maintain the clothes or not, the consistency? So you can see change the angle of the shot uh, to make it look like it's shot from the side. And you can see that this also looked absolutely amazing. There was one final thing that I just tried, which was I took the image which it had generated for that uh, dress earlier on, which we had generated. I put that image here and then I basically took this image also which I got from the internet, which had a different pose. And I wanted to see what if we ask it to change the pose by giving it a reference here. Will it keep those intricate patterns and complex things on the dress the same? So the prompt was change the pose of the woman in the first image. So it looks like the pose in the second image. And you can see it did a pretty decent job. I won't say it was a perfect job. The pose was spot on, the face was the same. That was good. The pattern on the dress was the same. I think the only thing was that this dress wasn't long enough. Now, are we nitpicking or not? Maybe, again, we can just open this up, type a prompt and say that make this a bit longer. But you can see that ChatGPT is completely on another level. We've just never had such a realistic clothes swapping tool available at our disposal. So you can see this is really, really amazing and it can help out a lot of people, especially the ones who are into e-commerce because now they can swap all these clothes onto a model in such a realistic way and in such an effortless way. So in case this video helped you out, do give it a like. And if you want to follow along all my experiments with the different AI image editing tools out there, then make sure you subscribe and I will see you next time.